I am Cadet Major Cynthia Galdemus. I am from the San Fernando Valley 8th Brigade. I have been a cadet for about six years now, since seventh grade going on to my junior year. So when I started off in cadet corps, it was not by choice. My mom moved me to a military school, which she thought was a boot camp for my sister. Afterwards, I saw the leadership potential inside of the corps, and I decided it was my choice to excel in it. My favorite story about being in cadets is way back when I was in NCO course and I was my first summer camp I was taught to work well with my fellow cadets I was taught that commandants cared to push me through my best self push me to be the better cadet that I was I showed them I could be from placing first year cadet and they decided to push to get me to NCO. The biggest challenge I've had to overcome being a cadet is going away from home, not being able to slack off in school because I want to be better than the rest of them. I am one female out of two in a 14 person staff. I have learned confidence in no matter my gender, I am just as well, I could push just as hard, I could work even better than the males. And we add an extra flair to what the program is all about. We are not an exception because we are females. We are just as well, if not better. When I first started Cadet Corps, I was very shy going on to my second lieutenant commander. They would try to help me out and break me out of my shell. She was a female. What she did was push me more inside. But when she was guided to become a better leader, I learned what it meant to step out of that and hold that platoon sergeant position or that squad leader position as a female and guide other females to not be shy because those sit-ups we can handle, that dirt we can handle just as well. If you apply to 10th Corps staff, do it because you want to make the Cadet Corps a dream for those cadets who are nervous their first day of summer camp or are scared because they're away from home. You want to apply to 10th Corps staff because it's going to grow you so much more in the real world. You are not going to be scared of thinking for yourself. You are going to excel in your decision making process, in taking advice. You are going to excel in giving advice, which is important for a leader. My first year in Cadet Corps, I was in seventh grade. I came to summer camp. I went through the NCO course. I had amazing instructors that I wanted to stay in NCO. <laughs> but by the end of that week, I saw the commander up there and I knew what I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to be commanding the Corps. We sat by the marksmanship area, I believe it is the EST 2000, where we were sitting on the road having some lunch. I remember this exact moment and someone came up to me saying, what do you want to be? And I said, I want to be the cadet commander. I want to be a cadet colonel. That was so important to me at that moment. I realized what a difference the cadet commander was making to the Corps, that they are really the voice of the people here. We have to, I'm saying we because I am on track to becoming the cadet commander. I have worked hard since seventh grade to do that. But as cadet commanders, we have to look out for those below us, look out for our subordinates and make sure that they are having the best time of their life as well as growing as leaders. That is the most important part about being commanders, making sure that your cadets are growing, that you're not micromanaging them, that you're not thinking for them, that they are able to do things by themselves because of your leadership. When I found that out in seventh grade, I knew where I wanted to be. And I've been working hard since seventh grade to get to that position. I became a cadet major in May. It was a difficult task to overcome, but we passed the test. We've taken the board. I've done all the PTAs that included teaching classes, 
writing operation orders, inspecting a whole bunch of PTAs that I had to do that got me to the field grade officer rank. And now that I am here, I am out on the field making sure that things are being carried out how they're supposed to be. I am two ranks away from becoming a cadet colonel, which is the highest rank a cadet could go to. I am not going to stop at cadet major. I am going to reach to the top and make the core a better place for the 7th grade, 6th grade, 5th grade cadets that we have so they could feel welcome, they could feel that they have a voice in the cadet corps. I am Cadet Major Cynthia Galdemez. I am from the San Fernando Valley and I am a cadet in the California Cadet Corps.